Earlier in the show, we heard from Common Ground volunteer Anita Keys about different career paths in the ag industry. Now Anita is back with a recipe to share. In this segment, Anita shows us how to make a pizza braid. Mostly everybody has to like pizza, uh, but we have a variation on pizza that you may want to try. Joining me now with more on this is Anita Keys with Common Ground. Anita, what do you have for us? Okay, so yes, we're going to do a twist on pizza. It's it's a pizza braid. Kind of makes it a little fancier, but a little fun. I can even see kids helping with this. So, okay, I start with, with the pizza crust. And you can use your own pizza crust. You can do um, a bottom pizza crust. And there's lots of options out there. Okay, so you roll it out. Then you put your, um, and this is optional too. And maybe if you know you're going to freeze it or something, you don't want this too soggy, you could leave this pizza sauce off and just do your pizza sauce as your dipping sauce. So there's another, another thought there. Hamburger. Oh, and I really debated how much. Okay, the first time I made it, I, I used a whole pound, which made the braid a really fat, kind of hard to, hard to get it braided. So... Then I thought, well, let's scale that down a little. And then it makes more bread, less meat. Okay, and this you can put whatever you want. In fact, you know, if your family has different likes, you can make one with pepperoni only. One, you could make a chicken bacon ranch pizza. There's just all different kinds. Then um, down the middle, I put cheese. And it says a cup and a half, which is a lot of cheese. Okay, so now we've got our ingredients on here. Then, okay, so when I had the lip, I had to do the scissors to cut my one inch edges. If you don't have the lip on your thing, you can use like a rotary cutter. See how I'm doing that? Just one inch and I'm not too particular. The thing is you just kind of want the two sides to be balanced so that you have the same number of strips on each side when it comes to making the braid. So then you braid that across, just back and forth, back and forth. And it looks really fancy. Then you can use olive oil or um, melt your butter, spread that on. And that is so that when I sprinkle a mixture here, and this has our seasonings in it, which you can do whatever you like here too. This has got Parmesan cheese, grated Parmesan. Um, it's got your Italian seasoning and garlic powder. All right, so now we've popped that in the oven. The oven was supposedly preheated at 350 degrees. Bake that for 15 to 20 minutes. Kind of keep an eye on it. Anyway, enjoy that. Have fun with pizza braid. Thank you, Anita. It looks good. Thank you so much. And thanks for being here today. Mm -hmm.